For decades, AM radio has been a familiar voice in our lives, bringing broadcast news, talk shows, and a wide variety of music. However, in recent years, the medium has been witnessing a decline in popularity and relevance. The advent of digital platforms such as streaming services and podcasts has revolutionized the way we consume audio content. With the convenience of on-demand listening and a vast array of content choices, consumers have shifted their attention away from traditional radio. Streaming services offer personalized playlists, while podcasts provide niche topics and specialized discussions catering to specific interests. These alternatives have captured the interest of a younger, tech-savvy audience that seek interactive and customized content. But electric vehicles may be leading the charge to remove AM radio. Due to interference caused by electric motors resulting in compromised reception and undesirable noises, several manufacturers including Ford, Mazda, BMW, Volkswagen, and Volvo have ceased offering AM radio in their electric vehicles. The Energy and Commerce Committee and its Communications and Technology Subcommittee are set to hold an educational hearing on Capitol Hill this week to discuss the presence of AM radio in cars. Statements supporting AM radio were issued by committee members. The officials highlighted the importance of AM radio in providing local news, emergency communications, and reliable public emergency networks. Bills have been introduced in Congress to make AM radio mandatory, and lawmakers have requested a status report from car manufacturers regarding their deployment of AM radio in vehicles. But does anyone still listen to AM? According to Nielsen, nearly 50 million individuals actively listen to AM radio and AM signals continue to possess a significant advantage over FM as they can travel longer distances, making them a crucial communications lifeline for individuals facing natural disasters. But will this be enough to save AM radio?